Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of our two year anniversary Q&A update. So last, on the last video, we ended the video with a really spicy question. Juicy, juicy. Yes, so. Lemonade question, we're gonna go straight to the questions, okay? <laughs> um, if you haven't watched the last video though, go ahead and I'll, post the link down below but go ahead and watch that video first and then come back to this video so the question was did you ever deal with crazy exes hitting up your partner so we mentioned that no none of my exes ever hit up alex my exes did hit me up and my ex hit her up and his ex hit me up so do you want to tell them, babe? No, you tell them better because I. Mm. Do you want to tell them that you were a married man when I met you? Yeah. <laughs> tell them, babe. I was, unfortunately, I was young, got married young and fast. And life just happened. It didn't work out. And it was for the better because I found greatness and perfection right here. <laughs> so yeah, he was married. He was actually married uh, when I met him. Which is why I also didn't want to meet him in the first place. Hit her so I think, I don't know if the question's on here, but someone had asked how we met and I mentioned this before, but I met him through my nail tech girl, um, which is his sister. So I had been going already with her for about a year or a little bit over a year. And uh, she would mention that she had a brother and he was married and i was like oh no he's married but she had mentioned they were going through a divorce they were being they were separated going through a divorce i was like i'm not getting in that mess he's gonna be a new divorcee and why am i going to mess with that so she would tell me oh just you know take him out show him a good time i was single she threw him on me for a while and I was like nope I'm not gonna lose my nail girl over this what if it doesn't work out what if it's awkward after and um she ended up sending me a snap of him and I was like I think it was like on Thanksgiving and I was like yeah he turned around he didn't even know what was going on he just she literally just called him she was like they call him Bubba and she was like Bubba was like, and he turns so around and like he's and he smiles that's literally how I felt after that uh, he ended up hitting me up on Instagram. He commented on one of my pictures, slid into my DMs, and that's how it started. Uh, when we were talking, I didn't want to put it out there because he was still married. He was going through the whole divorce and trying to get it finalized. So part of the reason that I didn't want to put him out there also was because he wasn't divorced yet. Fully divorced though. Yeah, he's divorced, divorced now. Though. He's divorced <laughs> now. And uh, I had, should I say exactly what happened? Or just. You just like. So yeah, I had, I had posted something on Instagram. I had no idea the ex was following me, like keeping up on my page. And I had posted something. She. The shoe fit. Yeah. She, <laughs> she messaged me and. Um. Uh, yeah, we just went back and forth from there because I was like, why is she even messaging me? But then I found out that he knew before I had even told him, so obviously she had told him, and it was Shut just, up, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's a, that's a whole other story, but point is, yes, I, I dealt with that. I, the ex was on my page, just stalking us, and yeah, it happened, but it's, it's done, settled, and yeah. moved on. Yep. But yeah, let us know if you guys want to start telling that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Did the quarantine test your guys' relationship or made it stronger? 
Did it test us, baby? I don't feel like we even... If it tested us, we passed with flying colors. Yeah, it, it was never a, an issue. I feel like we were together all the time either way. If so. anything, we enjoyed it. Yeah, <laughs> we enjoyed eating. Yeah. We gained weight together, mm -hmm. you know? We gained that happy weight together, clearly. Happy. <laughs> so, yeah, no, we didn't. It was not a... It's not... We haven't fought like that. We haven't... It didn't make us go crazy with each other, so... She didn't get on my nerves at all the yeah. whole time. Yeah. I hope I didn't get on hers the whole time. No. Not at all. It didn't test us. And like I said, if it, did, it, w if it was a test, we passed with flying colors because there was, it wasn't hard at all. Yeah, there was no <laughs> drama or nothing. Mm -hmm. We were enjoying it. Next question? Next question. What has changed now that you've been together for two years? <laughs> we love each other more than what we did. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I feel like it's crazy and it probably sounds cheesy, but I really didn't think you could love someone more and more every single day. More and more every day that passes by. And that's literally how I feel with him. Yeah, same. My love for you keeps growing and growing and growing. Yeah. <laughs> I listen to more Spanish music. Oh yeah, he's becoming more of. Uh, I own a pejana. He owns a pejana. <laughs> yes, I'll post a picture of him on here too because if he would have never met me, this would have not happened. What this? That to that beard because his beard was. Oh no. Oh no. Dude, oh no. A comparison picture. I'll just post like. No, let's not even show them, babe. <laughs> let's 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 just have them remember you like this <laughs> <laughs> but yeah when i met him he had like a longer beard and little by little it's like you should you know make it shorter and shorter until you finally got to here that's what's changed his beard he listens to more spanish music now that's it nothing nothing big nothing crazy mm -hmm. we gained a little bit of weight yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Oh. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, we both gained a lot of weight. We gained a lot of weight during quarantine. If, if you can see it, it's like in between that. That's how much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did gain a lot of weight. I guess that's the main thing that has yeah. changed. Yeah, but we're so we're so happy together. It, it hasn't changed how we see each other. It's we're working at it. Yeah, like we both wanna. One for each other, but most importantly for ourselves. Like I want to get in shape for me, and she wants to get in shape for herself. So like it's not we're not like oh man like what's he gonna think if I keep gaining weight? No, there's, there's nothing about that. It's more within ourselves. Like me, I want to get in shape and I want to get. But quarantine happened, then yeah, yeah, it's almost everybody's excuse, and it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like when just, we when we met, we were already both trying to. We were going to the gym. We're working out. We're trying to you know just get in shape and we we're already trying to do that so we met and we kept it going for for a little bit and then until quarantine happened and we gained a bunch of weight and now we're just slowly getting back on it and just motivating each other and mm -hmm. making sure that we get back on track yeah. we motivate each other to eat bad sometimes and the next day we're like okay we gotta go to the gym <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah. But nothing, nothing crazy. We gained weight. It's okay. We gained weight. Everyone, everyone gained weight. Yeah, everyone A lot of people weight. did. Yeah. Um, is there something y'all are still embarrassed to do around each other? Love you, baby girl. Love you too, Rachel. I didn't even notice I had cut out her question. Um, are you embarrassed to do anything around me? I'm not embarrassed to do anything. Not embarrassed to fart around me. It's not. A, it's not embarrassing. I would fart, <laughs> but it's more for her protection. <laughs> I really I not. I can only imagine because <laughs> you've gone to the bathroom. Don't right? start no joke. <laughs> so I would rather not fart in front of her because then it's gonna just think everything up and. And I will tell him. I don't. I don't doubt it. I will be like. 
you're a freaking gross baby. <laughs> that was disgusting. The only thing I'd be embarrassed about would be farting. If I farted around him. I farted one time around him, but he didn't hear it. And I, it was like those when you laugh and a fart comes out. It was that type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> he didn't hear it. I was, and I even told him I just farted. And I was, we were going into my apartment, and I had told him like, "Oh my god, I just farted." And he was like, "Did you?" And he started like laughing more. And then I was like, "I'm just kidding." And he like believed me, and then we left it at that. But it, I had really <laughs> farted, but he didn't hear it. So, but yeah, I don't. I just feel like I've always said that I would never fart in front of my significant other or even anyone in general. I, I've never liked. I feel like with my family when we lived together, everyone would just fart and they wouldn't care and, they'd just be like, <laughs> and i'd be like you guys are freaking disgusting like go to the restroom you get you don't have to do that in public you know it's always the one that was like if i got a fart i'm gonna go to the restroom and that's it i don't like farting in front of people of course there's no difference here i'm not gonna want to fart in front of him i do feel like if it were to happen or once it happens where i do it like there's no going back i don't know eventually i probably won't be able to hold it anymore it's gonna be like I'm sure he'll get there. <laughs> Did you ever think Alex would stop loving you if you gained weight? <laughs> Do you, baby? Did you ever think that would stop loving you? I'm just kidding. No. I feel like I could gain 100 pounds in. <laughs> he wouldn't leave me. Every inch of her. He would love every inch of her. <laughs> More cushion for the cushion. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I've always said that I wouldn't let myself go, and I don't think it's necessarily about me being comfortable around him in that way. It's just I know I wouldn't be a, be comfortable being a hundred pounds over or whatever, being even this amount over. I'm not comfortable in it, so it's not it's not about him. It's more about me and how I feel. Cause I love her no matter what happens. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you would, yeah. And if I were to have that mentality, I'd be like, let me just eat whatever I want every day. <laughs> but yeah, it's not the case. I'm doing it for me and just to be comfortable in my own body. Do you guys get into arguments? And if you do, how do you guys work through them? We don't really get into arguments. Well, no, not really. Just little like disagreements. Mm -hmm. At times we've talked about having gets together and certain ways we're gonna raise yeah. them just like stuff like that and it's more like a little bickering type yeah of he's more like okay let's me in the middle like what can we do to like come into an agreement so that's what normally helps us but nothing where we are arguing and fighting and yelling at each other we've never yelled at each other no. till this day at it's, least yeah it's good because i've seen people do that and i don't know how you could do that like that disrespect yeah. yeah disrespectful to one another like you could just talk about it compromise and find the solution hopefully and imagine if, if i yelled like hey you yelled at me oh see i just talk about it. hey i would cry <laughs> like, <laughs> you just yelled at me that's me yelling lower like hey <laughs> <laughs> and like i said it's little things we haven't fought over like anything yeah. huge communication yes now that Alex has a key to your apartment, does he ever drop in unexpectedly? No. Nope. I have talked to him like this is my place and I want it to feel like my place. So, of course, he wouldn't just show up whenever he wants to if I'm here. Like, yeah. It's just really important to say what your boundaries are and then they have to respect them and that's it. Does he motivate or encourage you? I be sensitive when it comes to my weight with my boyfriend. He doesn't ever make me feel bad at these days where I will have Olive Garden and I'll tell him and he'll ask me like, what did you eat? And I'll tell him, oh, I had all of He can tell when I've like had something like that. And instead of making me feel bad, he'll be like, it's okay, babe. You went hard at the gym this week. Like, it's fine. So he never makes me feel bad. So that's good. And like I said, you, you have to set your boundaries. You have to set like... I have to mention what's okay and what's not okay and i've already mentioned to him before 
that he can't ever tell me like you're gaining weight i feel like we know our bodies and we know if we've gained weight mm -hmm. so i i wouldn't want him telling me that because i feel like i would know he's told me he wouldn't care like if i tell him like babe you know what's going on but that's just him i feel like to him it wouldn't matter it wouldn't hurt his feelings and to me it's more of it's something that i've struggled with my whole life so it's like I know when I'm gaining weight and I don't need anyone telling me I'm gaining weight. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Something I struggle with is what they're saying. How do you balance each family events evenly? That's something we're still struggling with. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. The main thing is both of you being okay. Like, you don't want to argue about it or you don't want to yeah. make each other feel bad for like not going to the other person's like house or something. Yeah, just that that's what the part that we're working on like yeah. anytime her family has something like i'll try to get my family to go and if my family does something we try to get her family to go just so they could just all get along and get to know each other hopefully build the type of bond that will hopefully just evolve over time and just be able to be like hey let's have christmas at my place let's have christmas at your place let's have fourth of july new year's Thanksgiving. Sometimes you'll have to sacrifice and be like, just tell your family and be like, hey, I love you guys. And but I'll be this year with my other half. <laughs> yeah. Or vice versa, just be like, hey, we're gonna be here and and our parents understand because they they know they don't want to keep us apart. Like anytime, like say for the holidays so far, like I when I'm home. My mom would be like, oh, like, it sucks that you guys had to be apart. Like, I don't like it when you guys are apart. And when we're together, she loves it. Like, when we're together, like, yeah. that's, that's what she wants. But it can't always happen because obviously she has, she has her family and she can't just abandon the family. Don't abandon your family. <laughs> that's a don't main thing. Don't be that person. Don't that be that person. You have to meet in the middle or you have to, you know, one time be with you don't one your, side and the yeah. other time be with the other side. You don't want to ever abandon your family. And that's why we're struggling too because we don't want to abandon our family. Uh, there's times where his family tends to end things more early. So there's times where we've gone early to his family and then come to my family. Because my family loves to stay up to like 3, 4 in the morning, 5, five 6, 6 in the morning. Seven, comes so up yeah, morning. It, that's why it's a little bit easier just because his family ends it early and then my family ends it later. Um, but we're still working on that because it's more things like 4th of July. Like the ones that, the holidays that don't mean a lot to our family where they're like okay it's okay if we split up if the hard ones are like christmas and new year and yeah and um the main ones that's where it sucks for both of us because we don't want to leave our family but then we don't want to leave each other yeah. there's times where he has surprised me but there's been two years already no for new year's or for christmas he tends to come after his thing is over because like i said they ended early like 10 11 no they open the gifts early and and then he comes with my family but for new year's in these past two years he's like came before midnight to like surprise me so <sighs> yeah we're still we're, we're still working with that i feel like when we first met we we both said okay we'll do one year one and one year the other but then we're two years in now and we're like i don't know if we're gonna do that so it's like I'm more thinking of, oh, once we're married, we'll have to come into some sort of solution. I think it's just easier because we're not married to be like, oh, it's okay, I'm gonna go with my family, he's gonna go with his family. And it's not bad, I feel like once we're married, it's gonna be more like, where's your wife? <laughs> where's yeah. your husband? We'll let you guys know when we come <laughs> into some sort of agreement. Who initiates a nasty time? Sorry. What? <laughs> what? I do. Me. Liar. I initiate nasty time. Most of the time. It's hard for me. Like, I'm trying to be more gentleman, more... You're past that, babe. I know. No, no you don't get past... You want me to get past being a gentleman? 
when it comes to bed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's hard because I want to be respectful. It's hard for me not to be respectful. And I feel like he's always just like, oh, what if, what if she's tired or you know, what if she doesn't want to tonight? And I tell him like, you don't ever have to worry about that. And to this day, I've never been like, and I'm lucky, no babe. I'm lucky because she doesn't. She says I don't have to worry about it. So. Yeah, and I told him if one day I am tired, I mean right now we don't have kids, maybe when we have kids I'm going to be like, you know babe, it's, it was a long day today, <laughs> like, let's just pass on that, but as of right now, I'm like, you, you should take advantage right now, because yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I initiate it more. She does, just, just that's the only reason why though, because if not, I, I would probably initiate every night, every time right now, but you can't. Right now? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys open to using toys in the bedroom? Do you wear a lot of lingerie for him? Do you? Do it? Do you wear a lot of lingerie for me? Occasionally. I feel like it's more on special occasions, like yeah. my anniversary, Valentine's Day, oh, birthday. birthday, yeah. It's more, <laughs> here and there I'll do it like randomly where it doesn't have to be a special yeah. event, but for the most part it is on special occasions. Yeah, I, I prefer like that too though, because don't get me wrong, <laughs> I'd love to see her like that all the time, like, like damn, <laughs> but it, it being special occasions and more randomly and every once in a while makes it that much more special though. And are we open to using toys in the bedroom? Yes. Yeah, we use them. Yes. <laughs> if your family or friends just kills yours. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one has two parts. Oh, it's the last one. Oh, we're done. If someone sees you guys out in public eating, does it bother you if they stop to ask for a pic? Or if they just stop to say hi. Not at all. I actually love it. I love when people stop me and like, oh, mm -hmm. can we take a picture with you? Or, oh my god, I follow you. It just it makes me feel special. <laughs> <laughs> I love that there's people out there that look up to me or support me. And of course, if I'm out there and they stop me, like it reminds me of it. And I love to see it. So. Yeah. If you're ever out there, don't be shy. I, sometimes I'll be out there and I get messages like, oh my god, yeah. I saw you, but I was so scared to go up to you. And I'm like, no, you should have just came. Like, I don't mind it at all. I love it. I, I honestly love it. So, yeah. if you see me out there, say hi. We don't have to take a picture if you don't want. Just say hi to me and it's fine. Love and support. Yes. I love to see it. <laughs> I love to see it. But I guess that's it. That's all the questions. Morga hit the empty. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Or the door just closed? Door closed? <laughs> it's because the AC turned on, so that's what I like to believe. That's what it was. Okay. <laughs> so that solved the questions. So you're staying over tonight? <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> you're mean, babe. Thank you guys for your questions. If you guys would like to know anything else, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to get to you. Is there anything you gotta say to me? Nope. Just see you on our 30 year update. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. We, could, we could do these yearly, see where our relationship's at. Yeah. But no, it was cool. I had fun. Thank you. Thank for... you for having me. Thank you for being here, baby. <laughs> accepting to do this video with me. Of course, of course. Anything for you. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys on my next video. Love you guys. Yeah. Bye.